Hi, my name is Matt Numerick, and I'm really excited about this video because this video today we're going to cover elbow variations. You talk about self-defense and an elbow strike, there's very few, few things that are going to beat a good solid elbow strike. We want to go ahead and we want to use it, we want to use it often, but we want to learn how to use it in different kinds of situations, different kinds of positions, et cetera, et cetera. And that's what this video is all about. So if you always want to learn how to use one of the most devastating tools in self-defense, the elbow, you've come to the right place. We're going to go ahead and we're going to make a big drill out of all these different variations. So when you guys get used to this and used to doing it over and over again, you guys are going to have this skill down and these techniques down as well. Uh, the first kind of elbow we're going to talk about is what's called a bursting elbow. Now, we're starting off with the bursting elbow because so many people just picture that they're always close to somebody and they just can strike with their elbow. I want to go ahead and I want to put a little bit of a different twist on it and say that you're at a distance. So now we're maybe, let's say, at boxing range. Well, if I'm at boxing range, can I reach out and hit someone with an elbow? Most likely not. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to step on in an elbow strike. I'm going to bring Justin out here. And notice how I'm starting off from a longer range. My hands are up. I'm in a good defensive stance right here. And as I step on in, this is where I'm hitting, just like this. I'm gonna bring Justin to this side, just so you can see it from a different angle. So as I'm right here, I'm step sliding on in. If you focus on my feet right now, I'm just stepping and sliding just like this. I'm not gonna step through, and the reason being is because I never wanna turn my back to my opponent if I don't have to. So when I do this, I go ahead and I step slide and I hit and I stay right here. This is so important for people to understand because I have a lot of students who go ahead and they step through, they miss or let's say they don't hit as solid as they want to and now they're in a position where their back is turned to the opponent and we don't want that. So when we do this, go ahead and initiate this move by using that step slide and then hitting solid right here. When we strike with the elbow, we want to go ahead and we want to use the tip of the elbow, not the forearm, and definitely not like a flipper move right here. So how we accomplish that is keeping the elbow just a little bit higher than let's say, uh, than let's say level point right here. So as I come through, this is my bursting elbow. So we're going to start this whole drill off with two bursting elbows. Justin's going to go ahead, absorb one, step back, and then I'm going to do one to the other side. Notice that I'm also going to change my feet up. I'm going to start off in a left lead right here, elbow coming from the rear. Why? Because it's more powerful. And then when he goes ahead and resets himself up, I'll be switching to a right lead as I go through with my left. So these are the elbow combinations for this first move. Bursting elbow, right. He steps back. I change leads. Boom! And I come through with a bursting elbow from the left. Let's take a look at this one more time. Bursting, pop, and then bursting, boom, just like such. So when we go ahead and we do this, we wanna make sure that we always stay in a defensive stance. Even after we go ahead and we hit right here, my hands are still up. What I don't wanna do is, is get into the habit where let's say I strike, but the elbow stays right out there. Why is that important? Well, because if I punch, I don't punch and I just leave my fist out there. I always punch and I bring my fist back. Same thing with an elbow strike, right? So if I go ahead and I'm right here developing, or I'm sorry, throwing this left elbow strike, I'm gonna strike and pull right back to my defensive position right here. One last time for this combo. We have a right, boom, switch, left. And those are our bursting elbow. The next kind of elbow variation that we have right here is what we call our close quarter elbows. I think these are the elbows that people most kind of think about when they think about elbow strikes in a self-defense situation. So think about this, that I'm closer right here like this, so my hands are gonna be touching the pad, the opponent. I just want my hands up, but I also want my hands on somebody. The reason being is, is, once again, that's just verifying that I'm close enough to go ahead and strike somebody in this close quarter range right here. Maybe I'm slapping down hands, grabbing a neck, whatever it is. My point is, I want my hands active. I just don't want to be in this close range just kind of throwing moves. So if I'm right here, boom, boom. Let's take a look at this again. As I do this, my elbows are going to go, but the way I like to throw close quarter elbows is, is if I was a little bit above level for the bursting elbows, I'm much more at an angle 
for the close quarter elbows. Why? Well, for a couple reasons. First of all, if I have someone's guard that's up, I'm getting up and over the guard. But I also wanna go ahead and I wanna make sure they have a good strike angle in there. The more of an angle I can use with this, it's better. But we accomplish that not just by putting the elbow up higher, but also using our body as well. Just like we used our body with the bursting elbow of stepping on in and bursting on in, we use our whole body here to go ahead and throw, boom, those close quarter moves just like this right on here. So the combo that we're gonna set up right here, or the first part of the combo, because there is a second part, is hands on, boom, elbow, elbow. Notice how I twisted here. I just didn't do this. I twisted my whole body going right through here. So we get here, hands on target, elbow, elbow. Next thing I wanna do is I'm in close quarters. I like to use the vertical elbows. Still hands on the target, going up and going up. Now, I'll be honest with you. When we have a flat surface like this, doing vertical elbows, now it's gonna feel a little bit weird because we're not fully connecting with someone. So I wanna go ahead and I wanna put this off to the side. Let's go ahead and let's take the vertical elbows, but from this kind of a, a reference point. Notice how this is gonna be so much more devastating than hitting a flat surface. When I can go ahead and make contact with whether it be the chin, the neck, the nose, the cheekbone, the face uh, hanging on over, that is complete devastation. So respect this, not just when you're uh, obviously training it, but obviously for using it as well. Okay, Justin's gonna go ahead and pick back up the pad. Let's take a look at these next two steps right there. Close quarters, boom, boom, vertical, vertical. My hands are always on something, right? Okay, let's take the pad down again. My hands are always on something here. Hands are always on something here. That's what we wanna go ahead and we wanna cross over to our training, okay? So, so far in the whole cycle, we have bursting, bursting, close quarters, close quarters, vertical, vertical. Let's take a look at this right here. So if I'm here, bursting, boom, my partner moves back. I change leads, bursting. After that, close, close, vertical, vertical. That's where we're at so far. Let's move on to the next variations. The next elbow variations that we have is our side bursting elbows. So if I'm in this position right here and I have a threat on my side, first thing I wanna do is, is get low. Second thing I wanna do is cover my offside. I don't know what's going on over here. There could be somebody else coming into play. I wanna make sure that I kinda cover myself here. But I also like to raise this arm right here. I call it my little Dracula move, okay? So I'm kinda just doing this, all right? So as I do this, I'm bursting on the side. Boom, that's my elbow right there. Let's take a look at this again. Okay, get low, cover, little Dracula move, bursting off of this outside foot, boom, stepping on in, just like this. This is our side bursting elbow. After I do this, my partner goes ahead, moves right behind me. I get low once again, same thing, cover here, boom, step in just like this. Let's go ahead, let's work through the combo. If I have Justin on this side, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do boom to my left, all right? and to my right. All right, let's go ahead and reset that. We'll do it again. Good. Once again, here, boom. Goes around to this side, here, boom. Those are your side bursting elbows. Let's put it all into one big drill, right? So we have our bursting, we go right, boom. We go left, boom. Close, close, vertical, vertical. What's next? Then he goes to the side right here. Bursting, he goes to the side right here. Bursting, that's our cycle so far. Hang with us, there's more. Next variations that we have for the elbow strike is the rear elbows. There's really kind of two versions that we have. We have a low version, we also have a high version as well. Uh, we always want to get low. If we feel a threat is behind us, I don't want to be standing tall. I want to get low. When we do a low rear elbow, we're going to go ahead and we're going to reach out like we're shaking someone's hand and then take this elbow and go all the way close to our body. Let's take a look at that again. Get low, still cover the offside, reach out like we're handshaking someone, and then bring this elbow right back really close to the body. Don't bring it out here. The person's right behind you. The threat's not gonna be here if they're attacking you. They're gonna be centered up right on you here. So after I get low, cover, reach out, pop, okay? Now, 
After we do that, we're gonna go right to the other side. So I'm gonna go here, okay? And then I'm just gonna switch here. So practicing up against Justin, he's gonna go ahead and he's gonna bump me, okay? From a training partner standpoint, that lets me know that he's ready, all right? So when he bumps me, I go ahead, get low, pop. Here, boom. The next two moves, now we got high rear elbows. Now when we do this, what I do is I get low, I cover, but now I crunch to the side. The reason why I like crunching to the side is it allows me to elbow a little bit higher. I always wanna imagine someone's behind me who's attacking me maybe a little bit bigger, a little bit taller, okay? So I wanna get maximum extension on that elbow. So if I don't go ahead and let's say crunch, this is the maximum height of my elbow, right? Okay, if I go ahead and I crunch a little bit, ah, what happened there? I can go ahead and I can hit something a little bit higher. So he bumps me from behind right here. Once again, these are the high ones. Get low, cover, crunch, boom, there's my elbow. He'll do the same thing on the other side. Get low here, pop, okay? Now we're just gonna connect the dots. We're gonna do all four. We're gonna start with the bottom right, go to bottom left, high left and high right. We're just gonna go around in that little box pattern right here. He'll start off, always following through with my moves. Good. He's tapping me, letting me know that he's ready on each one. And there we go for our rear elbow strikes. Too low and too high. Let's work this in to the full cycle right here. We're gonna kind of change the angle just a little bit so we get a little change right here. So here, this is bursting. Boom. This is bursting. Boom. Close quarter, close quarter, vertical, vertical. What's next? Then he goes to the side, right? Here. He goes to the side. Here. He goes to the rear. Then I go ahead and I work in those ones right there. That's our cycle so far, but guess what? We're not done yet. Hang with us. The next variation that we have with elbow variations is our spinning variations, okay? Now, when we talk about spinning elbows, spinning elbows is a great, powerful tool. Always looks good in MMA fights when we see someone pull out a spinning elbow. Uh, here's how to do one correctly here. As we go ahead and we set up, we're in this position where, I'm, once again, I'm in boxing range. If I go ahead and I just spin, this can be telegraphed, okay? This person's not gonna fall for that. They're just simply, simply gonna move on back. But if I go ahead and I hide it with some punches, ah, that's kind of the secret right there. So when we do this, we're gonna use the elbow spinner right here by throwing a jab, cross, missing, and as we do, we wanna step over a center line. So as we do that right here, notice this is the step when we miss. Okay, that puts us now halfway around to this spinning elbow, just like this. So when we do this, pop, pop, boom. Now, follow through is paramount. What we must do is, is not just stop right here. Why? Well, because my back is obviously turned to the opponent. So when we do so, whether we hit something or not, we wanna to continue to spin. So we go ahead and center back up on the person. So it's jab, cross, jab for the miss, spinning around, then I go to the other side. Now when I do the other side, if I'm using these punches, I go ahead with a left lead, I go jab, cross, jab, all right? Then I go ahead, I miss with the cross, and I got a step past center line right here. Boom, turn all the way around. Let's take a look at these two combos. So we go here, boom, or here. Always spinning around. Let's go ahead and let's put this on the end of the train with all these other moves, okay? We have bursting, bursting, close quarters, vertical. What's next? Side, he goes behind me, side. Now to the rear, here, here, here. Don't forget that crunch. Turn around, spinning. I'm going slow on those so we can see the follow through and that ends it on up. Now, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna end this on the ground. After we go ahead and we do that, Justin's gonna throw the pad down. I'm gonna go ahead, drop down to mount position and throw two elbow strikes just like this. When we get in mount posi uh, position just like this, 
make sure that our hands are up as well and we're coming down and I'm dropping my whole body weight. Boom, boom. And that is what's ending the drill. Let's take a look at everything together one final time. To go ahead and tie up this video, we're just gonna go ahead and mix in a little bit of uh, extra training here with both Casey and Mark. You're gonna see them going ahead and doing this exact same drill. One person's gonna hold the pad. The other person's gonna do the full cycle of all the elbow variations. And then once a person gets down to the ground, they'll do their follow-up elbows. They'll pick up the pad. Now they're the one holding the pad for their partner. So have fun watching this. And once again, pay attention to all the different angles we can use from this one move. Hey guys, listen, I'm training, but you better be subscribing to this channel, guys. We are always uploading brand new information. We cover so many different topics within this channel. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. We cover everything from weapons to mass attack defense, kickboxing, close quarters. Well, there's really a topic we don't cover when it comes to self-defense. So make sure you subscribe to this channel now.